<coughs> Dear learners of, of classroom, how are you? I think all of your statements are not true. Dear learners, I will get start a new class on technician. Okay, in our previous, in previous classes we discussed uh, on various topics. Today I have decided to discuss on technician. Here yeah, I have written five problems for you and I will try my best to solve all these problems. Before going to our uh, discussion, I have to make you clarify uh, some rules of making a question. What are they? Actually, in terms of making a question, you have to follow some rules. First of all, you have to find our auxiliary verbs here. If the given statement is positive or affirmative, you have to make it negative. And if the given statement is okay, uh, negative, you have to make it affirmative or positive. Number one is one, one is that. Number seven is you have to okay, uh, find out auxiliary verbs of the from the given statements. What are the auxiliary verbs? M is a was a condition you can put name might self should go to make your must plus it have this touch. If we find auxiliary verbs, you have to Okay, if the statement is positive, you have to make it negative. Or if the statement is negative, you have to make it positive. Now the question is that when you don't find any auxiliary verb, then what do you have to do? Then you have to find out principal verb or main verb. I think that you try uh, principal verb or main verb. Okay, actually every sentence starts with subject. I have to put this text, subject, verb plus, verb plus, object. Okay, after subject, you will, will have verb. Okay. Besides this, if you find S, E, S, or E, G at the end of the word, that will be counted as verb. Yeah. That will be considered as verb. Okay. If you find S, E, S, or E, G at the end of the word, that is, that might be verb. Okay, for some instances, or in, in most of the case, you will, this will happen. But in some cases, okay, very, uh, very, uh, very few cases, you will uh, have uh, some exception. Okay, so let's come to the question. Everyone is not supposed to in life. Okay. Besides this, you have to follow subject. Okay. Every subject will come at the end of the, the question. Okay. But uh, we have to remember one thing that. In terms of making a question, you cannot use, you cannot put noun here. Okay, you have to put noun of the given word. Okay, uh, then it's noun. So, what is noun? The name of any object is called noun. Maybe the name of person, object. Okay, so what is pronoun? Actually, pronoun is used instead of noun. Okay, in terms of making a question, you cannot use noun. That is pronoun. Okay. So what are the pronoun? Or what? Actually, you can see that we use some words: person, I, she, you, he, she, they, it. Okay. All these words are pronoun. Okay. I is a pronoun. We is a pronoun. You is a pronoun. He is a pronoun. She is a pronoun. Okay. They is a pronoun. So. If the subject is okay, uh, uh, then, uh, is, a, is the name of a girl, if you use pronoun she, if the subject is the name of the boy, if you use pronoun he, if you find that the subject is plural, if you use pronoun they, when you will find the name of object, and if the object is singular, if you use pronoun each, and if the objects are plural, if you use pronoun, Okay, so let's come to a discussion. The first one is that everyone is nostalgic in life. So you can see that at first, the first task is to find out of the given of the given statement or the or from the given statement. Here you can see is it is auxiliary verb. Okay, this given statement is okay uh, 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 affirmative. So you have to make it negative in terms of making that question. So you can see that is not. 
is this one. And we have to use also short form. Okay. What is short form? Is not. Is that. Are not. Short form are not. So are not. Aren't is the short form of are not, is the short form of is not. Okay, is positive, we have to make it negative, is not. That means isn't. Okay, here subject is, you have to follow the subject, subject everyone. So, everyone is not a pronoun. What is the pronoun of everyone? The pronoun of everyone is they. Okay, they. Okay, so you can see that isn't they. It doesn't fit. Okay, is it doesn't fit with they? So you can see that according to the rules of making that question, this will come here. But when you will you use they, you cannot use is and before now they. You have to use are not. That means are not. Are they okay? So, come number two. Let's practice it. If you find let us or let's, what I will say? Okay, let's is a short form of let us. Let us or let's both are same. Okay, so when you will find let us or let us or let's, you have to use shall we. Is an exception rule. Shall okay, you have to be put question mark. Okay, so after every that question, you have to put question mark. Okay, because it is that question. So letters or less, wherever you, you find letters or less, you put, you have to give shall we? Okay. So come from a C, you can hardly sustain that. At first, you have to find out of the liver. Can. Can is a can is a model of the letter. Okay, it's model of the letter. So can. Now if you find out in the statement is affirmative or negative, you don't see them hardly. There are some words that might uh, uh, they uh, there might be looks okay uh, positive, but they are negative. Like hardly, scarcely, rarely, barely. No suma, seldom, never, nothing, nobody, no one. Okay? They are okay. They can't be negative meaning. Okay. So hardly is negative. So jet means hardly negative means the whole sentence is negative. In a negative form. So you can cannot make it negative again. Okay. So you have to make it oh, Affirmative. So, he can hardly sustain that. Can is this statement is this given statement is uh, negative if you make it positive. So, can will come here. Can. So, what is the subject? He. he is known, so he will be here. He. So, you have to put question mark at the end of the sentence. Okay. So, come to number 4. He comes here every day. So, if you look, okay, uh, uh, at this sentence, you will notice that there is no observer in this given statement. And as I was there, we shall be can put may, my shall put, we will look in here, of course, to run the passage. So, then what you will do? When you don't find any observer, you have to find out main verb or principal verb from the given statement. So, how can you find out? In the full structure, I told you earlier, subject plus verb. So, every single start with subject. So, he is subject. What is verb? After subject, you will have or you find verb. So, comes to verb. Besides this, if you find S, ES, or ED at the end of the word, word then it might be verb. Okay, so S is here. So, this is verb. So, if you don't find any auxiliary, then you have you have right to okay bring the auxiliary. Do, does, and did. If you don't find any of the verb, okay. If you don't find any of the verb, then you have to find out the main verb. After finding main verb, you have to use, or you have only you have to only use three words, three of the verb. That are do, does, did. Now the question is that 
among these three of the levers, which will be used from these three? If you find S at the end of the word, it means of the does. If you find E D at the end of the word, it means of the verb did. If you don't find any S is for E D at the end of the word, then at the end of the verb, then it use of the do. So you can see that he comes. So here is S at the end of the word. That means at the end of the verb. So if you find S is or S is at the end of the verb, it means of the does. So this sentence is for the making name. Does not. That means doesn't. The short form of does not is doesn't. Okay. Doesn't. So what is subject he? He is known. You can use it easily. And put question mark at the end of the tag question. Okay. So come to our discussion. The last one is that we decorate our form. So at the same kind of composition. So you can see that there is no garden. I have told you a bit earlier that we have to find out main verb or principal verb. How can you find out after subject or at the end of the if you find as yes, ag, at the end of the word, there is verb. So there is subject, there is verb. And also you have you will find that ed at the end of the word. So there is verb. So if you find don't find any of the verb, then you have to use three of the verbs. Do does it. So you, you can see that at the end of the word ed, the end of the verb. If you find ed at the end of the verb, it is only ditch. So there is positive affirmative sentence. If you make it name, did not the use, didn't. Okay. What is the object? Subject we. We is pronoun. You have to use we here. And put question mark at the end of the chat question. So dear learners, I think I have done my best to make you understand, and all you have done your best to. Understand these five uh, uh, problems, okay? And some rules of making that question. If you uh, uh, try to understand, okay, from uh, from the depth of your depth of your heart, I think you will okay benefit, and you will learn a lot of things from this discussion. In our next class, we will discuss uh, a new topic. Till then, Allah Hafiz.